Hello, Evan Rain here. Today we're going to be working on the odd key switch that's on our wall here by the entry. Uh, for those of you that guessed what this was back when we did our kind of a house intro video, this is supposed to be a key switch for the unattached garage door outside here. Uh, it doesn't work. And, well, I figured out what it was here after the owner of the house, uh, the previous owner of this house, stopped by and told me. And, yeah, like I said, you folks, I guess this was for the garage door. You were correct. Like I said, however, it doesn't work. So we're going to try to get this uh, working here today. I'm assuming here at this point I'm going to have to do a little troubleshooting. The wire is probably broken somewhere. Don't know where. So we're going to see what's if we can locate that. The switch is working. I took the switch out to the garage door opener here, hooked it up to the wire out there, turned it, and it opens and closes the door. So uh, there's no continuity on this wire, so we've got to see what's if we can figure out why. So let's uh, head outside, and we're going to start there. You go to digging. <laughs> Okay, but well instead of having uh, Mrs. R.D. Allen dig up the entire yard here, it sounds like fun for her, um, we're going to see if we can uh, locate the wire here. I've got a suspicion, everyone, that they did some uh, sewer work here, and that possibly broke the line somewhere in here where this line goes through. That's my uh, suspicion, so. Oh, that would explain the weird dirt patch. Yeah, we're going to see if we can uh, locate that. Yay! So, we're going to the garage here for starters. And we need to hook up our uh, signal induction. Ooh, fancy words. Or whatever they call it. I don't know. It induces some sort of signal on the wire. Oversized nipple clamp. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Let's see here. Where is the wire? It's that one right there. Well, the one that is not attached to anything? So that runs a signal artificially through the wire? Yep. And that way we can follow it underground using your duber duber. Hopefully, yes. We're gonna find out. That's also inducing the one down the electrical wire, so I might have to change that, but we'll just see if we can follow both. Yeah, see what happens. He's a witch, it's a divining rod. Pretty much is. <laughs> Only it's actually backed by science. something. Want me to stand there? 25 inches down. That's many inches. So when it goes quiet is when you find it? Yep. Right there. 25 inches? 13 inches, 12 inches down. Now, uh, again, I've got it wrapped around both wires, so it might be, uh, this could either be the electrical or this could be the other wire. So I should probably switch yeah, this Yeah, why don't wire. we, yeah. And that's make sure. It might both be working in the same spot, I don't know. Eh. I hear it beeping. It's yelling at us. Yeah, so if you get a close in on the screen here, it should. Oh, I'm not getting a signal. Oh. No signal? No signal. Well, it wouldn't be back here, would it? Comes out. Oh, here we go. Comes out here somewhere. Right there. I don't think it's 60 inches down. bizarre. Maybe it is. says it's there. It says it's freaking five feet under. Yeah. Which is asinine. Where is it going? 
<laughs> so, so I don't think it has it real good. Or either that, it's broken here already. It might be. I don't think it has a real good grasp on where it is. It could be going under the pavement. Could be. Okay, let's see if we can get a better hook on that, maybe. Or I might have to actually hook the actual wires up. Thinking hooking the actual wires up is probably uh, going to be hook the actual wires up to the box. Right yeah. now, I'm just inducing. I should maybe do a direct connection. That sounds a little more. We'll give us one more try. If not, we'll do a direct connection. It's that was the same spot where you read it at the rocks, so yep. it's not getting a good signal. Okay, let's try it with a wire. Following you like a baby duckling. My hands are cold and my knees are buckling. Not really, I just couldn't think of a rhyme. Uh, and I bought a wreath. Oh no, the basement has them. Why do you need a metal rod? What about that? Metal measuring stick. Why don't you try your speed square? I call my speed square around. Why? It's hard on it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you're manly tools were so delicate. That's right, you don't pound your square into the... Uh... <laughs> if you're still recording, yeah, we're, we're, I'm going to put this in the video. You folks in the comments, <laughs> let her know. You don't go pound in your speed square, your square in the ground for a contact. We're gonna It'll go. get dirty. Oh, oh, it's so dainty. I'm sorry, I don't want to muss its hair for the cotillion. That's right, that's right. You know that. <laughs> I'll have to long enough now. We'll, we'll try to make it work. Eh. To the outside, where it's flipping, flapping cold. Yeah, I'm wearing two hoodies. It's cold. And I'm a wimp. This may or may not work. Okay, everyone in the comments, do you think this is going to work, yay or nay? I'm betting nay. Things don't typically work for us. But then again, he has a track record of making ridiculous things work, so... Eh. Show me what you're doing. We're gonna clamp these wires in here. It's like an alligator clip type thing? Yep. That thing plugs into the orange thing. Yep. Okay. Lay it on its side. Well, that's the first consistent line we've had. Yeah, that's the first. So it, might have it, it is a straight line. 
If not, I do have one other trick. I have another locator. This is a cable locator. This is a pipe locator. So far, it seems to be... I think we got it. Okay, now we just got to figure out where it's broken. Four I'm, inches down, it says. I am guessing it's somewhere near the garage. Uh, I was thinking it was going to be here, but they might have ran it along here and then in. Right there. Six inches down. Sounds a little more reasonable than five feet. Eight inches. Okay. Twelve inches. Okay. okay, if it's broken, it's gonna be in here then. We have lost a lot of signal, though. Oh yeah, that's way down in signal here. So it's broken either next to the house or next to the garage. At least we know it's not in the middle. So that narrows it down a bit. Signal strength is 940. Okay. What's it at there? 850. It's not terribly low. It's not. No, I would say anything over 800 isn't terrible. Or 600 is usually pretty good. Oh, good, because I was totally guessing. <laughs> It does drop quite a bit though. I think with a break like this, if it's just a slice in it, it's still gonna be enough to send that signal on. Nine inches down. Now try it? Let's try it right there. Let's try. All right. Isn't it fun having grass where the entire thing is just a root maze? This might be harder digging than I thought. Oh, that's it. Actual root root. That's some real good roots right here. Probably from this tree. Any landscapers or excavators out there, please criticize his digging style. Feel free. And trying to find it without tr cutting it with the shovel. All right. It'll be hard with the roots more. Good thing that's where the trash can sits. Kind of. There it is. Is this it? Nope, oh, this is it. There's where? the wire right there. Where? Oh, there mm -hmm. it is. Okay. There's another wire next to it. Oh. Okay. Or is that a root? No, maybe that's a root. That's a root. No, no, that's a root. Okay. 
Okay. So there it is. It wasn't lying. Well, there might be time to take a look in that trap door. See what there is to see. <laughs> you want to come in? Yes, desperately. It's so cold. <laughs> How are you gonna get it open, Sugar Plum? That's gonna be uh, interesting. We're not gonna be able to get this open yet. Nope, we've tried. Many of us have tried. I think it's stuck on the tile itself. <laughs> That's just cheating. Break the whole freaking thing. Right. Gonna run like sin. Okay, I need a flashlight. Once again, he's so needy. Prefer the fancy black one or the blue one? Don't matter, either way. Uh, let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. okay, so that's probably our wire there coming up. Yep. That one there. There's our wires going down to power the garage, probably. Okay. So it's intact in the it's wall? Intact, yep. Okay. Well, then my theory is still by the garage. Well, Evan, after uh, doing some digging, I think I finally found the uh, problem here. It's actually right where I suspected it was. Uh, just couldn't find it with a locator. Well, I could find the wire, I just could not find the uh, problem here. I think it's because the wires are like actually joined together yet, but not actually joined together enough for like continuity, right? Uh, so the problem actually was where the sewer pipe is. In fact, there's the sewer pipe right there, everyone. Uh, the way I found this was I found a spot where the wire all suddenly dipped down. So again, I can measure the depth with the uh, locator. Uh, most spots, everyone, it's running anywhere from like four, six, eight inches at the most. Here, everyone, it dipped down like 16 inches, 12 inches. It was deep here. It's like, what in the world's going on? Okay, let's dig this spot up. Noticed right away it was different dirt. And then, like, I couldn't find the wire, everyone. Kept digging. And it's like, whoa, that wire is way down there. I finally gave the wire a tug and ended up with this. Like, well, okay, there's your problem. So I hope I can see that in focus. So yeah, that wire just pulled right out of the ground just like that. And then uh, some more digging, I finally found this end here. So yeah, the wire is indeed broken. And I noticed as well, one, there's some more fixing going on here. There's some tape here. There's some more tape there. There's some more tape on this one. So this wire got hit, as I kind of suspected when they probably did the sewer line, everyone. Uh, they so when they replaced the sewer line somewhere in here there's like clay tile i'm guessing it was probably the original sewer line uh, but uh, yeah probably hit that so we're going to attempt to fix this everyone uh went down to the hardware store to see what they had like for heat shrink and stuff bloody awful expensive so i'm just going to use some heat shrink butt connectors probably wrap that in tape and call it good for what this is everyone i think that'll work okay when i'm uh, kind of debating how to fix this here uh took off some of the electrical tape that was covering all the various uh, locations. There was uh, quite a bit more than I actually uh, realized all the way down, uh, all the way down here somewhere, all the way up through here. There's a spot, there's a spot. And then of course, great big spot there. And then there's some more on the other wire. So yeah, I don't know everyone. I don't have any spare wire here to fix this with. Um, hmm, don't know. Not liking the prospects because that green wire there obviously is cut. The rest of this doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks nasty in a couple spots. This one over here definitely is the worst, though. This definitely, uh, this definitely exp explains some things there. Hopefully, that'll focus. Yeah, definitely some bad stuff going on right there. That is definitely not good. That was underneath the electrical tape there, split open, and you can see the water's definitely got in there and done its thing. So, I don't know. Not sure. I mean, like I said, not liking the looks of this. Okay, we're back at the project here uh, again today. Went past the uh, shop and picked up some uh, wire. I didn't have any underground rated wire here at the house I could use. Uh, so I just got some, actually, this underground sprinkling wire, which has four four wires in it. Or no, five wires in it. Five wires in it. Yeah, that should be plenty. And then also got some really good heat shrink as well. Again, the heat shrink at the hardware store oven was just uh, outright expensive. So seeing how I had some, just went by and picked that up. And then uh, got dark on me here last night, but uh, while it's getting dark here, went ahead and staggered my butt connectors here. So when I put the heat shrink over, it's not gonna be like one big old mass of butt connectors in one spot. 
I got them all staggered, so hopefully I can put the smallest possible heat shrink over that. So yeah, I'm gonna get this wire connected here and then do the same thing on that end and then uh, put a heat shrink over all of this. And that should keep it watertight for what it is. I mean, again, it's not like we're doing data communication here, it's just opening a garage door. So that'll hopefully work. Okay, there we go, Evan. One side done. Now we'll just move on and get the other side done here as well. And I think that should be a really good repair. Well, Evan, if that doesn't get the job done, then I don't know uh, what will. That looks uh, pretty good to me. Sorry if the camera's not focusing on that. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, just one long piece of heat shrink there. That's what I like about this, Evan. I bought this in uh, four-foot sections. You can just cut off however long you need. You know, in the most case, when you go to buy this, this at the store, you get, what, little six-inch pieces or four-inch pieces, something like that. That would have never worked in this case. That one, you need a nice, long, one continuous piece there, at least the way I did it, and then just stagger the butt connectors. That way, you don't have to have too big of a piece, and it uh, fits nice and tight around the ends there. That should hopefully be waterproof. So, yeah, let's uh, we'll test this out here in a minute before we bury it, and uh, cross the fingers and hope it'll work. Well, I mean, suffice to say, it still did not work, so a little bit more uh, digging here, just a couple feet beyond where I fixed it there, I find this. Yeah, what the heck is this? Uh, basically what I did, everyone, I don't know if you can see all the holes through here, basically I just went and pulled the wire, you can see it moves in that hole, and if I did that, it would move in that hole, and so on and so forth. Uh, between this hole and this one, everyone, I could not get it to move, so it's like, well, we'll just start digging here, and yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna undo this, I'm gonna see what there is to see here. Looks like what someone did is they tried to fix it. It uh, looks like there's butt connectors in there, uh, wrapped in a big ball of silicone, but obviously, as you can see, it's not, not sealed very well. So let me see if I can undo this here a minute. Well, I have no idea what's going on inside here, but I got this uh, repaired up here again. And before I heat shrink everything together, I'm actually gonna go check and see if we got continuity now, make sure there's nothing else wrong anywhere. Um, if there is, I can still probably stick probes down in here yet, seeing if I got continuity from here to the key switch and or continuity from here back. So we're going to check that here a minute before I heat shrink this all together. Oh, yeah, there we go, everyone. There we go. That was it. Uh, unfortunately, though, I only got continuity on the green and yellow wire one. So there's still something wrong somewhere yet. Either, you know, my repair isn't good or there's something else wrong somewhere along the wire. I, I suspect I'm on something else somewhere wrong along the wire here somewhere, because uh, the other pairs have continuity, but very, very poor, even though nothing's connected. So that tells me there's probably a break in the wire. Something's corroded out somewhere. Don't know where, but anyway, green and yellow, it's working. It closes the door. So I'm gonna get this uh, tidied up here in a minute and we'll go from there. Okay, well, before we uh, wrap this video up here, I saved the uh, blob of silicone here. I haven't been able to get into it yet. I want to open this up and just see what's, what we got going on in here, if we can, everyone. It appears to be some sort of butt connectors, and yeah, I think it's just some sort of butt connectors, everyone, that just wrapped a big old blob of silicone around it. So let's, uh, let's see if we get into this here a minute. Okay, well, I think I got it about as open as I'm going to here. Uh, definitely rather interesting. Inside the silicone here at least i'm assuming that's what this is uh there's some sort of foam in here as well so i don't know what the purpose of this was they're just all little pieces in here it probably tore apart when i opened it up i don't know if it was in pieces initially or not don't know what the purpose of the foam was it looks like one of the uh insulating pieces you put around a pipe everyone looking at the the shape of it there could be wrong but that's kind of what it looks like but they didn't like put it around all the wires i i don't know of it i'm not entirely sure what they uh what they did here 
Um, it looks like the red and the yellow wire are somewhat waterproof here yet, but the black one and the green one definitely failed that one. They are very, very corroded out. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but uh, they are definitely corroded out inside there. Again, assuming everyone water probably entered in through either end here and just, yeah, soaked that and corroded everything out. And I don't know, the red one, like I said, the red one seems to be, pro oh, just broke the red one. Well, let's see what's here. Oh yeah, it's definitely, definitely green. You see the green copper there, but that indicates some moisture, but it was definitely in there somewhat solid. And I have not been able to pull, I haven't tried actually pulling the yellow one out. So yeah, anyway, that's what was in there. I thought that was rather interesting. I think that's where we're going to wrap this video up here. Again, when it's not uh, perfect, we got one set of wires that is working. The other set is not working. So there's probably something else wrong somewhere else. And or one of my patch jobs didn't work very well possible, but I doubt it. There's probably something wrong somewhere else. Uh, in fact, even if I had to bet, I would guess the problem is right by the side of the garage there. That was the last... Uh, area i noticed an anomaly so i don't know if you get bored one of these days i might dig that up just to see once if there's something there that was the only area i had not dug up yet so anyway thanks for watching that with comments or questions on this be sure to leave them down below and until next time